Okay guys, in this video basically we're gonna go be cheap. In future video you might see us getting truffle, lobsters, you know, very expensive products. Right Melanie? Yeah, sure. Because that's more your taste, right? Getting the most expensive stuff every time. Yeah. Cheese, what kind of cheese Melanie? Uh, so they start to be Italian now, like using your hands. Yeah, but that's the only way you understand. It's so this is uh, pizza dough. Mm -hmm. so Melanie, can you please explain why you have an uh, expensive taste? So when we go for pizza, she has to choose the most expensive pizza in the menu as well. Mortadella, people. It's a white pizza with mortadella, obviously like with extra pistacchio and burrata right in the middle. Yeah, the most expensive. Last time we spent bloody 12 euros for her pizza. I guess what, how much was my pizza? 6.50. 6 euros 50, exactly. Here in uh, the supermarket to do grocery shopping and Melanie, as always, likes to come do, to this appliances uh, situation. Look at that, like uh, pots, pan. This is one of Melanie hobby, <laughs> right? What hobby then? Sir? Collecting boxes that she never gonna use. It's this basically is the coffee that I buy because I want to go cheap. Cafe Borbone, as you can see, you can get 10 capsules for 278. I don't know in the long run if it's cheaper than the other coffee capsules, but you know, I like to save money in the short run rather than the long run. Right, Melanie? Yes. No, I disagree. It's a good offer, which you can tell because it says how much per kilo it is. So you should shop uh, by kilo. You know what? Yes. Until I met you, and I, I, I never knew like, you should uh, see the price per kilo. Always. I used to just get the cheapest one on the price list. Always check how much it is per kilo. Ah, that's a good tip. See guys, watching our video, you're learning something new every day. <gasps> 24 bars of Kinder. Another Melanie's hobby, collecting chocolate. chocolate. I must say, at least it's a good chocolate, Kinder. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, this is for Easter. Yes. For how much? $7.99. Okay, Melanie, we are stopping too long in this chocolate section. Especially like dark chocolate. Who likes dark chocolate? Who doesn't? Oh my god, it's, it's so chocolate. bad, it's so bitter taste. So guys, if you ever ask yourself how much is wine in Italy, this is the right section. So if you want one in a glass bottle, you can find even for 3 euros 49. 2 euros 49, oh my god. That's even cheaper than I thought. Oh my god, 229. Wow. That's shocking. That's so cheap. It's more expensive like a bottle of Coke. And there is Melanie. Again. Where she's looking? Obviously. The most expensive wine, I guess, no? See, so I might have expensive ta taste, but I spend less for the expensive taste. Yeah, but not at the restaurant, right Melanie? If you're gonna go out, go all out. Again chocolate section we came here to do grocery shopping melanie not chocolate shopping so basically melanie tasted one wine that she really liked it's a white wine and now she's in on a mission to find that wine right yes. so we are going to every supermarket in the white wine section to find that wine tell me if this is normal it's normal and what if it's gonna end up being like 50 euros a bottle, Melanie? It's not gonna be 50 euros. I hope so. Oh my god. This is this not what they give you at church? Guys, I'm pretty sure this is what they give you at church. What well, actually is? Pasta di semola di grano duro. This is literally pasta. 
So another tip that um, I'm giving to people, if you guys need to buy any pasta, the best pasta to buy is trafilata al bronzo, as you can see here. Bronzo. This is what they make that thick sauce. In case you're not already familiar with the best. The best, testate. Check our video where I'm tasting estate amongst other teas. So first supermarket is done, let's go to the second one. See you there. So one tip from Dante the Master, if you're in this kind of uh, supermarket and you forgot your carry bag, that's one thing you can do. An empty box and put all your grocery in, so you save 10 cents. You can thank me later. So Melam in the end wants me to Make ragu. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Every single time. Dante, what are you doing? Man, that's the only addiction I have in life. Kong strong. <laughs> I need to have one a, one a day. Or I'm gonna feel sick. And you're also gonna get diabetes. What diabetes, man? I mean. So guys, we haven't recorded much because anyways Lidl, I guess Lidl is standard in all the rest of the world. We are going to the third and last supermarket of the day and see you there. Checking out with the offer, Melanie. Ciao, buongiorno. Possiamo avere un etto, no. un etto... No? <ride> ok. Possiamo avere un etto, un etto e mezzo di mortadella, per favore? No way. Melanie, what did you find? Sole. And it's not even that expensive, come on. Oh my god. You can't say 3.99. Cheap. Uh, I mean, you can't say Can't believe. You found it, Melanie. I found it. No way. Passole, Bianco Sicilia. Are you happy now? Very happy. Hey guys, so we've just got back home yes. and we just wanted to show you roughly what we spent and uh, what we got for that money. Um, this was a bit of an unusual shot. Exactly, because we still had some uh, some food left over from last week. So yes, yeah. including things like rice, some of the pasta, some veg like carrots, um, celery, things that we needed for ragu. Yeah. And so just a really quick recap. So things that we got there, I would say we got a bit of a luxury shop this week. Yeah, salsiccia, some minced meat, you know, like some lavazza coffee and some premium pasta quality so and yeah. cheeses as well so you Gorgonzola. saw us getting the and then you've got the macinato misto some chicken um some chicken some stracchino which we're going to use for sandwiches soft cheese, italian soft cheese we've got some, some salsiccia tuna we also got some mortadella um and some of the cheeses the only veg beer that you can see in here wine uh, wine we also got some like lemon beers yeah. Um, from Lidl, and the only yeah the only veg that we got was cucumber because we have some, but we're also gonna have yeah. to buy some like tomatoes. But we've yeah. got loads of onion left over, yeah. so salads and stuff. Um, we kind of have little bits for so. Yeah. So, but the real question is, how much we spent? Yeah. We've got from the three, three receipts shops. from three different supermarkets. Uh, in the first. Supermarket we spend uh, 13 euros 51. After we went to the second supermarket, which was Lidl, was 2017. And to the last one, 15 euros 78, with a grand total of 49 and 46 cents. 
49 euros 46 cents. Yeah. So which is in pound is equivalent probably to 41 pounds, I, I would say. Yeah. Obviously it varied because depending from the exchange rate of today. You know that for under 50 euros you can get all this stuff. Um, and lots of which will, won't be eaten all in one week anyway. Exactly. Um, so well worth it when you kind of stock up a little bit exactly. as well. Yeah. Great.